accessory. I love to paint. There's nothing really much more to it. I've always been naturally really good at it, but I didn't really start becoming active in it until a couple years ago. Painting is like almost an escape for people. It can just kind of be like your own little world. Everyone has their niche of like, oh, I play basketball when I am stressed or I go skateboarding. Like painting is like my thing. Right now I'm really into portraits and right, right now that's what I'm really good at, which a lot of people admire because that's one of the hardest things to do is to get down people's faces. That's my favorite thing to do is capture face because they're so different and they're so unique in every single way. I've painted portraits for people, like of their kids and stuff. I recently just did a portrait for my grandma because her daughter died when she was little, so I did a portrait of her and different stuff like that. I've had this studio for a while. I actually put this together, sometime, I think I want to say seventh grade. I didn't really ever use this part of my room. So I was like, Mom, like, let's go to Home Depot. Let's get this together. So we literally just bought stuff. This used to be a closet, knock this out, put up a pole, put up some curtains. Her studio in her room is very artistic in that it's just kind of like random art pieces all over the place. There's a lot of like her portraits from last year that she did and there's works that she's gonna do for like presents and stuff in there and it's just kind of all over the place. The amount of stuff I have in here and the amount that it would cost is a lot more than people would think. This tube of paint, four bucks, you know? And this will last me not that long. So there's definitely hundreds of dollars worth of stuff in here, but I never used it like actively until the past couple of years when I started having more skill in everything that I was doing.